are you doing? Excuse me, sir. Sir, what what are you doing? Is that what this is called? For real? Is that what you're doing? You're getting some speckled sun. Oh my god, speckled leaves, speckled sun. You're trying to get your vitamin. Oh, I gotta stretch my butt muscles. Hi, Fafo Griffin. Where's Mish? Emily? Marie? Wait, somebody else popped in here too. I missed. Who was that? Who was that? I can't. Oh my god. Lori. That's who it was. Sandra, welcome in, Phyllis. Hey, Krill. It's absolutely gorgeous out. We're supposed to get a high. I know, bacon, egg, and cheese, right? Where's that bacon, egg, and cheese that I didn't get yesterday? Are we walking in the ditch? So high. Wait, wait. You already had a lot of breakfast. How much breakfast did you have? Let's talk about it. How much breakfast did you have, Jared? Excuse me, sir. Din Din. Hi, Din Din. Paul. Alexis. Joe. You know, we can walk. Okay, I'm walking. Bye. Goodbye. He's just going to stand in the middle of the street, guys. Hi, Timothy. Good morning. Complaint department suspended. Business today. Joe. It's closed. <laughs> it's closed. You have 60 outside, love it. So I'm walking today. You're just gonna walk wherever you want. Is that what it is? Oh my God, get out of the middle of the street. Joe, stop. Oh, Joe, get over. Come on. Joe, stop. I, you're gonna get hit. Now I gotta watch him. We gotta film it on camera so I know who the hell to go after because my husband is being ridiculous. Really? Is that what you're gonna do? You what are you walking like the you walking like Jesus down the street? I can't. I know it's Sunday, but you're not the savior, so what is going on? A car coming. <laughs> a car coming. Oh, plenty of chance. Change, change of plans. Change of plans. Change of plans. The car's coming. You don't often get to walk down the street without a car. Well, you can. Take full advantage of. You know when they have the. Uh, Car free, whatever weekends. I don't go to 103. No, but they, they have cars. it in Midtown too. They hate cars. On certain weekends in the summer. That's the one street you don't park on because they hate cars. You know. Your car may be recycled when you come back. Not just take it and tow it and turn it into a square turn box. Turn it into something? <laughs> oh my God. For well, real. This car needs a little wash. This car dirty. I don't know what it went Very through. Dirty. Hi, okay, Rich. Next, it's fine. Right, it's fine. What did you drive through, sir? I don't know what he drove through. Good morning. Right. When he gets hit by a bike, I know. Guy delivering oh, someone else a bacon, egg, and cheese. Bike. Joe's like, I'll just take the bacon, egg, and cheese and run away. Well, maybe that's a ruse. I'm just trying to stop him. I'll just snatch his bacon. Oh, so you're going to be a thief? Bacon, I'm a bacon hoe. You are a bacon hoe. You are. Bacon hoe is not a thief. He's Joe a Joe the bacon hoe. Let's see, what kind of appliances should we get today? None. Good morning, Steve Gonzalez. Why Why do you like this? This is called everything they have in the store they put in the windows. Like, I want to know how they chose everything. Like, how do they, how do they choose everything to put in here? Like, you can get your little grill master, your tiny, teeny, tiny toaster or toaster oven little hot plate a digital safe who's going here for a digital a trimmer oh my god a pocket hose i often need a pocket hose i live in the city what do i need a hose for what am i hosing down sabados how are you doing all right come on you cannot stop every time you walk by the sun and sit there and bask for real. That means we'll just be stopping every two feet. Hi, Walt Money. Walt, baby. 
I can't with you. People in the all everybody on the street just turned around and looked at you. They got their plants for sale. No, they just haven't unpacked them. No. Hi, Marie Boca. Happy Sunday fun day, everybody. It's going to be warm today. So we're just going to kind of... I was going to wear a sweatshirt, and then my son and Joe both said, no, don't wear the sweatshirt. It's going to be too warm for that. How was I to know? We need morning coffee. You love basking in the sun? You did? You had two pots of coffee to yourself? Wait, no, for real. I only had about a cup and a half of coffee because. All the coffee you didn't have, I had. Oh my God, you drank my leftover coffee? And the ones that you brought. Why? I need to catch up. Hi, Rachel. Catch up? Yeah. Good morning, Classy. Oh my God, he's on ketchup time. He's on ketchup time, guys. Somebody put a block on him. Somebody put a block on him. They called the phone company. They called the phone company. I didn't pay my bill. Oh my, Joseph, don't speak that way. I didn't pay my bill, Joe. Let's call a block. We don't pay your bill, you get no service, Joe. Can't. He had two pots of coffee. I know. He needs to wear shorts. Um, I probably could have. I thought about that. Joe's, Joe's doing his walk weave. I thought about that. And then you didn't. That jacket's gonna be too warm. My I have a feeling. My name is Angela. I'm always right. <laughs> Joe. My name is Angela. That is my name. I'm always right. I think we should go this way. Oh, he's starting to shed it. He's already in. Can you please stop with that, Joe? Son. The way you sit there, cut it out like it, it, like, like you're getting more. If I angle my face, I get more. <laughs> is it so that you get it on your neck? What is it? I angle my face. It's like if you angle the solar panel correctly, you get more sun. <laughs> is that what you think it is? Yeah. So you don't angle the solar panel this way, you angle it this way. Collect more sun rays. So you think if your face looks bigger, yeah. you collect more vitamin D. You want to make sure it's evenly spread across your whole face. I want it even. Oh my God. Good morning, ABX. Like he constantly is doing this, guys. Every time we stop at a point, he does this whole like basking in the sun thing. He's soaking it in, I guess. I'm like a sun sponge. Is that what it is? Okay. All right. We're going to go with that for the moment. How are we going this way? Oh, God. You want to walk down Broadway? Look, I know you don't want to walk at all. Do you? I'm walking. I'm so walking this morning, Joe had leftover soup for bowl. breakfast. He made me a bowl, and I said I didn't want the soup. And then he's like, okay, I'll eat it. So he had two big bowls. All the rest of the coffee. And all the coffee. So he said a lot of like cheese slices. You had cheese too? Several. Oh my god. So basically you're full. I'm never full on a Sunday. Fun day? No. He needs that aluminum thing you put around his I think he thinks he imaginary has that. That little reflector dish that only a George Costanza would have. Polly Walnut style. Yeah, like Polly on The Soprano. Polly. I love his, his leisure suit. His leisure suit. Good morning, C Jam. Okay. It's a little breezy. Well, it's breezy. Okay, we made it up the hill. That was a little, why does that feel like it was a big ass hill? Big hill. All right, let's go this way. Come along, Joe. I know you're behind me, sick basking. Hi, Gail. I was just Hi, Gail. Where I walk this way. 
All right, so you're checking for what? I'm checking the fence line. Joe. No you're not doing anything, okay? You can't pick anybody up to my back. <laughs> I can't. It was one time that that occurred. One time. My back was you gotta pick that up on the fence line. <laughs> no, you don't have to pick anybody up off the ground. Unless I fall down. It falls off my back story. Oh my god. This is a no pickup zone. <laughs> this is Joe's no pickup zone. Joseph, that was a one-time incident. It was, it was, it was amazing and memorable. One-time incident, Joe. Memorable. It occurred. Very memorable. It occurred right over here. Very memorable. Hi, Walt. Money. I don't know. I just wanted to know what date it was, Walt, so I can um, kind of put it on the calendar just in case. What date? that they're going to be up at Mohegan, PA, the Lotto King crew. I think it's like May 17th, he said. So I said, okay, I just wanted to know the date. I like to put things on the calendar just to know what's happening. Because you never know. Emmanuel, welcome in. Treating his fast. Is she fast asleep? Is she what time is it anyway? I don't even know. What time is it? Oh, it's 10.48. It is before 11. Oh, we gotta get Joe past it's this. It's Friday. Yeah, it's a Friday. Friday? Yeah, it's a Friday. I'm drive it up on Friday. I'll tell you no right now. You don't know that. It's a Friday. The funny thing is you say that Friday, and then comes Saturday. Thursday and you're like, oh my God. It's not a Saturday, it's a Friday. I know, but you, you get this. Come up from work, fight the, fight the crowd and then drive all the way back out that way. Like you've not doing it. Hi, Wicked Penny. Get there at nine o'clock. <coughs> and? Oh, okay. And then, and then play an hour and drive all the way back. <laughs> you're complaining about something we haven't committed to. Joseph, and the funny thing is, is like you haven't done it. Look at you're such a baby, I swear. Joe, you know what? If we followed. Nine hours of driving. Listen, if we, hours. I want you to listen. If we had followed everything Nine that hours. you said, everything you said, we would not Nine live hours. in New York. Nine hours. But if we listened to Joe all the time, we would not live in New York. Nine hours. It's not nine hours, it's Ding Dong. Joseph, I, I need you. I home from work. I pick you up. I drive out there and I drive back. That's nine hours. I don't care what you're talking about. You're talking gibberish right now. We're going to hold his hand. Joseph the Brat. Exactly. He's being Joseph the Brat right now. Are you going in the dark uh, sushi? No. You already ate, Joe. Come on. Stop it. I want sake. You don't need any sake. You don't need it. That was a cool looking coat. So it's just, you're in the, I thought the complaint department was closed today. No, I, somebody just told me I'm going somewhere May 18th. No, I didn't even say that day. On Friday. Joe. I'm not so sure. Oh my God, Joe, don't even think about anything. You don't make the plans. Who's the cruise director to this ship? Definitely not you. I am the captain. No, you're not. You're just the driver. You're called the pilot. The captain is the captain. You are the pilot. You said you're the cruise director. You I'm the cruise, the director cruise director and, and the, captain. the captain. No, no, no. That, that's yeah, I am because we have a very short oh, staff. Yeah. We're short staffed. We're short staffed. <laughs> I agree with you. You are not be the cruise director. And you the are captain. the first mate uh, and the pilot, which means you also have to swab the deck and clean the toilets. I'm looking at this crazy stallion right now. <laughs> How about a crazy stallion? Well, what are the plans today? Well, we are going for a walk. I think we're going to walk stallion. over to the flea market. We're going to drink crazy stallion. We are not drinking crazy the stallion. Malt liquor. Joe. The malt liquor. You want a couch, Joe? Uh, I'll go with crazy stallion. Oh, okay. You want a baby bed? That one looks new, though. It's not new, Joe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's living in it. Joe puts it on there and something squeaks out and runs out from beneath it. Is it Sunday tequila fun day? I don't it's know. It's to the cruise director. Oh my God, guys, he's pouting. You want to know why? He's, I'm going to tell you why he's pouting right now. 
break up the road. I gotta destroy the road right now. Don't bother me. What are you talking me. about? I've gotta demolish the road. I got my crew here. I'm just digging holes. This is Joe in like a sandbox. Can you imagine me with a bunch of heavy equipment? I'm just gonna rip up this road today. I just feel like seeing what's underneath there. They always have to do that. Oh my God, they're tearing it up something fierce. Hey Lisa UK. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood, Tanya. <laughs> it's a Sunday work through there. Joe is in Joe form of... I just said I wasn't going there. But you know what? You know what? You're blah, cranky. Blah, blah, blah. I can tell you why you're cranky. I need more coffee. No. Yes. He's cranky because he wore the wrong jacket. I like this jacket. Yeah, but I think you feel a little hot. I think you're feeling like this backpack is hindering me. <laughs> I know. I can backpack tell. Hey man, I'm a donkey. <laughs> I can't. Joe. All I can say the word of the day is donkey. Joe. You see that? Donkey. Yeehaw, yeehaw. It's nothing in it. Then why am I carrying it? Because we need to put stuff in it, baby. Yeehaw, yeehaw. We have a few things that are in it. Donkey. Dominic. Dominic the donkey. But your name's not Dominic. Today it is. Should I call you Dominic? Dominic Jojo. Oh my god. If I got you a fireball, would that be better? Oh fuck yeah, let's have a fireball. Okay. Probably have one in the backpack. I know, CJ. I want to go to the judges' table. We're not going to the judges' table. To to no. I want to go to the judges' table. I'm not going to the judges' table. We're on the wrong street for the judges' table, by the way. I like the judges' table. But we're not on that street. Judges' table. No judges table. Nothing but an overworked, underpaid mule. Yeehaw, yeehaw. I can't. Poor Joe. Okay, now they keep putting stuff out here. But they must own both. Oh, now they're open for lunch. Shawarma Shabazi. Shawarma, 20 bucks. Hummus bowls. Yemenite chicken soup is twelve dollars. We already had soup. Hubs thinks you're talking to him. Oh my god. Where? Where? New Asia. Come in. We're open. Welcome back. Great pending, New Asia. Great pending. Oh, I'm scared. Great pending. Not the great pending. That scariness. No. Is that That's new? called Izzy's Smokehouse. I'm saying, is that new? I don't remember Izzy's. I do not remember Izzy's either. Either. Either, either. Either, either, something. I'm going to kitty cat. Oh, Bodega cat. Bodega cat. Bodega kitty. With green eyes. The black cat with green eyes. Well, I have the walk. Dominic. Well, holy schnitzel, Joe. Holy schnitzel. Oh, look at Fresh Direct working. Delivering people's groceries. I wonder if they've lost a lot of business or if it's just continued. Edgar's Cafe, what's that? It's supposed Edgar to be a cafe Edgar by Allen Edgar Poe. Allan Poe. He would never go to there. No, he wouldn't. Well, no, they have rebar cherries that you're really interested in. No. No. We're going to do that today. I think a place should actually have laundry and serve alcohol. A laundry bar. A laundry bar. Oh my God, we make them money. Could you imagine? You Come do your you laundry while you drink. Bar. If you mess up your clothes, you just wash them. Every yeah, good bodega she, has a cat. It does. She, she, Go to Julius in the back booth. Oh, I know, but see, Jim, that's like way down at the bottom of the island. And we're way up at the top. Joe would never walk that far. Joe's like, I said what? Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Thinking about the blocks. Yeah, you got to start counting the blocks. That's 80 blocks one way. One way. My hips would blow out. <laughs> Your hips would lie to you. 
I'd be, I would be beyond lockdown. You would not be, be Shakira. Shakira having a concert from behind the stage. Oh my God. Good morning, Classy Coco. You'd be like, my hips are lying to me. And Shakira's hips don't lie. Probably a little bit before the technology, we were a hunter gatherer. Dude, you look like a hunter gatherer. This is how we lived before technology. We were hunter gatherers. Well, we still kind of are. We still hunt out our food at the grocery store and gather it and bring it back home. We look like a hunter gatherer. Well, usually the men were the hunters and the women were the gatherers. That doesn't have anything to do with hunter gatherer. We've always looked at that and we want to do it, but it's a bee. Gyoku. Gyokoku. Yo. Gyokoku. Hey, Bonnie, I agree with Joe. He does a lot of driving. His commute every day to work. He has to act four hours to his work day. You should drive for drive. It's not that I don't drive. It's that he doesn't want me to drive. Everybody, I love it. I mean, unless you guys watch it like a long time. You guys don't understand. Joe loves to drive. Hey, that's. Hey, this is new too. Chick, chick. Michelin. Chick chick boo. Chick chick? When does chick chick come in here? It's not anyway. Is it? It's bar. Chick chick. Okay, yes, but here's the thing. Where? I know they got missions. So where's your letter? I don't care about those. Where's the letter? Hi, DC. I don't. It's brand new. They don't have their letter up. Mmm, sweet today. Oh, it's edible arrangements. Joe is a car hog. Once in a great while, he'll be like, okay. And then he knows I'll drive and it's fine. It has nothing to do with the drive. It's just that Joe likes to complain. Dragon 89. I don't remember that either. No one's business. What's no one's business? I know there's no rating. That makes me go, hmm, why don't you have your rating up already? I know you had to get it. Hi, Lori Lou, how are you? Hope everybody's doing well. It is Sunday fun day. It is. We're taking a leisurely walk. It's a fine day. In the sun today. A light breeze, which is good. What are you walking for, dude? Nobody's in your way. He got big tires on that one. Right? Those are extra big. Why do you want big tires on it? Like, isn't that going to give you worse gas mileage? That's what I think. Like, your gas mileage would suck. The rating is on a need-to-know basis. Yeah. yeah Summer, it is a beautiful day today. What is Bodrum? Bodrum, um, Josh orders from here. It's Bodrum. Mediterranean food. It's Turkish. Whenever Josh gets all the things with like the tabbouleh, the, all that kind of weird stuff, he gets it from here, from Bodrum. That's where Josh will order from. It's okay, but I'd rather have my food. Like, I don't want five dishes of different mushed up stuff. That's usually what he orders. Yeah. Sunday by me consists of police chopper over the streets. Oh my God. You got your Venti 20% off and free shipping this weekend. Oh, that's a really good deal. Oh, we could walk if we wanted to. Not now. All right, he's going. I gotta hurry now, cause Joe walked and I didn't. Joe just took off. How were the Venti chocolates? We got. They're always good. I only have like one a day. They're consistently good. They're consistently always very good. Venti, I swear, has taken over New York, don't you think? A lot 
more Vengies. I am just Vengies. shocked by how many locations there are now. And I remember when we would get those when we were in Minnesota. They didn't have a store, but they had an Italian store that sold the Venti chocolate. Hi there, Apple Amazon. Good to see you. Is that actually his name, Apple Amazon? Yeah. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Joe, we've already walked 10 blocks. Did you say what? Nothing. Did you say you're done? Yeah, I'm not going to make it Julius. We are going to Julius. Oh my, what's burning? Your your hips? Yes. Are your hips burning? Yes. Okay, well, we're walking across this now. We're going to walk against every damn light. I swear. Because, you know, Joe. You passed by one today, Summer? Yeah. They are literally everywhere. I wonder if they had some massive influx of, like, they wanted to do the growth, and so they decided that they are going to expand, expand within New York. Because you're right, every new one opening up is opening up in Manhattan. Like, wow, what's going on here? For real. And it's like, I mean, I guess we don't have chocolate stores. We have a few small mom and pops, but I'm going to tell you that the mom and pop chocolate stores are a hit or miss. A lot of them are a miss. I had to agree with that one. Like, because we were walking a couple of them, I walked right out. Oh my God, the one up there by um, Columbia? Disgusting. Well, we like that one over in, uh, was it Queens? We walked in there? Right, but the first one we walked in, we were like, oh hell no. I think we're gonna wait. Wait, Joe, I'm not running. Clearly. I think they do. He needs some hip opener yoga. Dick Dunkin' Donuts. What? What are you talking about? No, no crime scene today. No crime scene. Liquor store is still closed. Oh. Are you just in pout mode? Who, me? Couldn't be. Couldn't be. You're kind of in pout mode. The weather is actually really amazing. I mean, look at the clouds. Freddie green Greengrass is good, but you aren't going to be a fan. You're not a fan of fish, let alone smoked fish. Yikes. So. We aren't going to go there for you. Because she stays with me all day. She would be like, this is stinky. you smoking a cigar. I know. I, maybe he does need more coffee. I don't know. I kind of almost agree with you. Well, let's go find another place for him to get something. I'm kind of good on the coffee front. doing pretty good you know walking <laughs> the face that he's giving me right now is too much what's this apple hills ample hills I don't know they open at noon I don't think I've ever heard of ample hills Look at doggy outside. He's a beautiful dog. This is like a plant shed. The whole buy a plant, get a coffee. It's in the shade. Oh look, he's got flowers. Do you need do you really need a coffee? Why? Why? Why is it? Oh, there was a moment. You were having a moment and I missed it. Okay. We're going to 
miss the moment. OMG, Ample Hills is the best ice cream I've had in the city. Really? Your hubs and you are working on a second pot of coffee, I hope. I already took care of that this morning. Yeah, you did have a lot. Maybe you have too much caffeine in your body. I need to rage it through today. What do you mean, rage it through? What does that mean? Rage the coffee. Does that mean keep having it? Yes. Oh. oh my God, that's Peaky Brista silhouette. No, it's Uptown Poke. No, but the same background as Peaky Brista. It's Poke Shot. Same background, wooden background. The dog looked at Joe like he was hungry. It yeah, was like Rin Tin Tin. Hmm. Not your food, buddy. It's a Taquaria. It's like tacos. I like it. I'm seeing new places, Antoine. I'm telling you. I don't remember some of these places. No. They gotta be new though. They probably are. Stuff pops up and goes away so fast. That's New York, though. Everything in New York Absolutely. comes, goes. You could go away for a weekend, come back. You know what? I actually, you know, here's the funny thing. I was doing our taxes. Oh, don't talk Listen. about those. And then, you know how we, I wanted to go to Marinara? You're right. We went there. We did. Once. To that one? Yes. Why? It, it must not have been it, memorable. It wasn't great. We were like, huh? It wasn't great. Because I saw it on our statement. I'm like, marinara? We went there once. It was like, I don't know, six or seven months we went ago. There once. We didn't, we didn't like, you know. Like, guys, it doesn't even it doesn't even register with me. I'm trying to remember what the hell that thing was about. And I know we did it live because that's the only reason we would have gone there. Right. Or did you go in and I didn't go in? Was this I don't even know. We ate outside. No, that was the other place. That was Mama Two's. That was at Mama Two's. But I was like totally confused. But then I thought, wow, we didn't we didn't register. See, there's a marinara right there. I don't know. Let's go look. Because now I'm literally like perplexed. That was a cute dog. He had a good spring in his step. Do you ever notice that some dogs have a spring in their step? They like bounce when they walk. And then some dogs are like, oh my God, I hate everything. Does that make a difference to you? All right, let's go look. Yeah, there's a marinara right here. We're gonna go look at it. Okay, well, let's go look. Make sure I'm not gonna get run over by a bike. And then a car. Oh, you guys just taking whichever way you need to walk. They're just gonna walk whatever, okay, whatever. Yeah, they, they clearly are. I know, they clearly think they know the walkway. They don't know anything. All right, let's go in here. Right, I went in here during one of my live streams and I'm like, where's the damn menu? Let's go see if they have it. Let's go find the menu because there's nobody in here now. Remember this was taken over by students that one day. Hi there, you just need to look at the menu. Where did Joe go? Oh my God, he just stayed outside, guys. <laughs> look at him, he's like expectant. I did. Look at, they have the cauliflower crust. Hang on, we're not getting pizza. What I wanted to get, guys, was chopped salads, starters, entrees. I think it was the chicken parm or meatball parm. What do you guys think? I think I could get that and then Joe and I could just split it. Pasta salad or vegetables? Pasta salad or vegetables. So I get pasta salad or vegetables, guys. We're gonna try this because this is the one thing I wanted to try. Here's what their pizza, what the? 
That's like a salad on a pizza. Oh, the Sicilians. Look at those. And there's the grandmas. Check them all out. Oh, this one got pasta on the damn pizza. Yeah, they crisscrossed in front of me. Okay. Okay, your chicken parm. Is that like a pretty, pretty big, it's a pretty big dish with a lot of cheese, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and it can come with zucchini noodles? Um, yes, it could also um, come with like a salad, sauteed or burnt vegetables, or pasta. Okay. We're capable of putting zucchini noodles in here, like, as, as a side option. Yeah, I don't want any pasta. Yeah, so just, the, the, uh, we're gonna need the chicken parm with the zucchini noodles. And then, let me grab a soda. Anyways, with the zucchini noodles, with the sauce on them, like marinara, vodka, pesto. Whatever um, comes with the chicken parm. Um, you can choose, it's up to you. Um, so what was the three? Um, marinara, vodka, pesto, and garlic and oil. Let's do the marinara. Because you all are named marinara. <laughs> okay, hang on a minute, guys. Let me go grab a soda. I'm going to eat it outside. Okay. Sure. Okay, where do I tap? Oh, right there. Thank you. All right, guys. Here's the bill. There you go. I'm gonna go grab some forks and such. Now we're gonna try and see if we can send Joe and go get, get a couple glasses, a couple of knives, this this, some crushed red pepper, garlic salt, ooh, look at they got packets, pizza packets, what the hell, oh my god, alright, alright, and we need some paper, paper products, because we must eat, alright, now we can go outside, <laughs> Oh, you're sitting over here now? Oh, was there a poop on this one? That's fine, we can sit here. As long as they don't feel like I'm gonna fall down. I was wondering if there's a liquor store that is open in the area. This is gonna be harder because I'm on that angle. Can we sit there? Because I can't move my chair. I'll sit there. All right. Joe. Here's some cups. That's over there. Yeah. There should be something in the backpack still. Moonshine. No, I took that all out of the bag. I took it out of the bag. How do you do that? Why? Look at they had this. Oregano pizza packet. And then a garlic pizza packet. And then we got some crushed red peppers. So the total was $30.21. Holy crap. Well, I got the chicken oh, parm with zucchini noodles. It is a beautiful sunny day, guys. Oh my God, it's gorgeous out there. I know, it is. The smells are really good out that window too. Well, listen, I tried to go here on my walk the other day and it was overrun by students. I don't know. I don't understand bah, it. Humbug. I know, but Joe, I can't wait till we get food in your face because for some reason I don't know why you're hungry. But I can totally tell that it's really affecting your mood. Joe's mood. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. I'm fine. Are you? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen that it's supposed to be a nice looking. Somebody did a thing on this and I wanted to see because I don't remember it being all that great. 
Any anyway. discounts, liver and onions? No, why would there be discounts? We just people. We don't play food. that game. I don't play that content creator game like that. I don't play that. You don't know who I am? I'm the most up and coming creator in the nation. Oh, brother. I should get free everything. Look at me, I'm entitled. I don't play that game. You don't? I don't play that game. No? My money's just like their money, just like your money. Yes. Plus, you guys aren't going to get a discount. <laughs> Look at people are coming in now. People are coming in, Joe. They give us a number, a name. They just say, hey, you, your food's ready. Anything? No, she said she's going to bring it out. So this is chicken parm. Chicken parm? I'm not getting pizza. Because we aren't going to eat the crust. Is Joe upset that he's not driving somewhere? Probably. He's you under know, his own manpower you know today. What? I got to I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday was rough. Why could it be rough? You were home almost all damn day. I was fighting an internal battle with the ba bacteria. What do you mean? You don't have any bacteria. I had a cold. You don't have a cold. You have you have allergies. Listen, I call what I call it. You call what you call it. Don't cross. <laughs> Poffle say. says entitled content creator game. Do they sell that on Amazon? Yes. It's by, a, it's by invite only. You can only get that game by invite only. From another content creator. No, we do. We pay whatever the pay is. If somebody decides to bring us an extra appetizer because they want us to try it, to talk about it, then that's fine. But I'd never walk in expecting to get yeah, stuff for free. That's something Angie and I have actually talked about. We have talked about that. Because I don't like the way that feels, how you you put that on somebody else. It's just, I don't, I'll pay my way. We've always paid our way. Pay your way. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say, you don't know who I am. <laughs> Look at me. As I throw back my hair. What hair? In the wind. <laughs> your hair in the wind? I'm done. Now, it's hey, a new board game. We should make up a new board game, content creator. Now, hey, if you want to give me a free shot, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to squabble about that. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool at the bar. They were giving away free shots, right? They were. I, I got to tell you, I've never seen a bar give away free shots. I yeah, I have. I have. I have. I don't go to the bars. Well. I'm a girl. They give free shots away. I was like, I was liking that free shot. If Joe says he has a cold, he has a cold. If Joe says he has a cold, Joe says he has a broken leg, but he's still walking five if miles. I a, if I have a swooshy diaper, I have a swooshy diaper. That's just, you have to take my word for it. Lannisters always pay their debts. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Would you like me to bring you another plate? Actually, yeah, if you could, that'd be great. Great, what is that? Um, that's the chicken parm. That's entree. chicken parm. And these good. are zucchini noodles. Ooh, zucchini. And the marinara sauce comes inside. And oh, okay. Thank you. I got okay. utensils. We got utensils already, we're good. Okay, so there's the chicken parm. We got zucchini noodles. That's bread, garlic knots you can have. You can maybe, if you want to take a bite, you can take a bite if you really need to. Does it look like a fish? <laughs> Joe, it doesn't look like a fish. I can't with you. Looks like a swimming sideways fish. <laughs> We're having some <laughs> din din in here. <laughs> it is not. It's chicken parm. It looks like a you swimming big ding a ling. Looks like a swimming salmon, actually. <laughs> I can't, Joseph. It looks like chicken. You just worried about the part that swim. Spit in the back. What's up? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe it's a big catfish. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks. it. I yeah. am cracking up at you. Okay, I'll take the spray. Joe, I can't. Okay, we're gonna put this down here. We're on the tiniest table ever, guys. Hang on, gotta get it situated right. No, this is what I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm gonna do this. Joe, you're not doing it. Just stop. You literally make me bananas. I gotta put, <laughs> I can't, the face. You ever heard your mom say, don't play with your food, Angela? Cause all you're doing is playing with the food. I'm trying literally, to get it. You're okay. just playing with the food. I need to cut it. 
Yep, now you're gonna play cutting. I'm gonna play the cutting wheel game. The plastic knife. Well, that's gonna work out well. This is gonna end up on the ground. I just use my fingers. It's gonna end up on the ground. And excuse me, ma'am. Why are you playing with your food so much? Oh yeah. He's playing with his food a lot. Okay. I'm making you your plate. Give me the sauce. I swear to God, he gives me the sauce. Can I have the salmon here? Can you get, I swear to God. Joe, it's not like you didn't eat anything today. I like that salmon. That looks like fish filet. <laughs> I need you to stop, for real. Okay, now you can get rid of that and this. Here you go. You put it on the floor. <laughs> you put it on the ground. I can't. You want these knots? If you want to try the knots, you can try the knots. But I'm not trying the knots. Okay. Oh, Joe, you're tipping the table. Joe, be tipping the table. That's not good. Okay. So this is what we did. We basically took it and split it because there's two big chicken fillets. And Joe's got his plate. I got my plate. Joe can. Hey, yeah, 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 Joe, yeah, 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 for real. That was a mess. Show them your food. I have more parmesan on my fork. I don't know what the hell that my was. my salmon. It's not, Joe. Cut it out. For real. Are you acting like a fool? I want to see what he says. Hey guys, I got parmesan in my Sprite. <laughs> it's just a mess. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Take it away. You don't like it? It's okay. Should I take it away? No, I'll have it. Is it terrible? Should no. I take it away? Tell me, tell me. I like to know. Switch glasses. Very dangerous question. I'll take it away. If you're gonna be complaining. There's no salmon. That's the funny. I know, it's a new flavor, Sprite Parmesan. It's called Cheesy Sprite. Be honest. What's it taste like? How's that Sprite taste with the Parmesan in it? Sprite's delicious. Okay, tell me how it tastes. Tell me. Oh, now you're just not gonna talk. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you got no voice. All right, guys. We're just gonna ignore him. I, I bought him lunch and he's complaining about it. Y'all see complain. that? I didn't say anything. Yes, you are, you're complaining. That's all right. That's all right. You get nothing later on today. Nothing, nothing. No more food, no more coffee. He gets nothing. Because now he won't even tell me if it tastes good, if it tastes bad. No, you're just lying. Oh, it tastes like it needs cheese. I don't think it tastes bad. It's a marinara. Do we put the pizza packet on it? It mixes in your stomach, I know. I just don't like floaties in my soda. Uh, yeah, that's a, okay, that's some, we're gonna put some oregano, oregano. A little oregano on it. If you throw that in my damn drink, I'm pouring Sprite all over your food. 
Oh, look at now he's serious. Now he's like, oh, she gonna get mad at me. He's all quiet. He's been in a foul mood all day because he made the choice to wear a winter coat. Thank you. That's the truth, Benny. He like, he's like pouting. Wait till Joe gets home. I know. I know, I know. I don't know why he's in a foul mood. Tell me, Joe, what does it taste like? Okay, this is my opinion. Like, I saw this, what is that? What is that? What is this? What kind of vegetable is that? It looks like a carrot, oh, it's a bean. Why is there a bean in my stuff? Um, the marinara tastes just like tomato. Right? Can you wait? Before you put that in your mouth, I need you to speak. Yep. Come on, tell me. What would you like me to say? Tell me what you think of it. Tell me. It's not worth $31. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I agree. And this is the reason why I don't think we liked it. This is why I didn't remember it. And I'm going to tell you guys, the reason why I wanted to try this again I know they have a couple of places and stuff in the city. Now, I don't know if this certain YouTuber or TikToker or whoever the hell they are, this channel, which goes around and tests food, actually gives real descriptions on their food. I vibe they don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, Jam, that's what it tastes like. It does. Why is there a child? Oh, he's on the seat. I'm like, why is there a child's like with me? I can't understand. But I'm going to tell you, I feel like this is very blah. Mama said, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything else. No, no, I'm telling you what it is. Because I don't want you guys coming here for the reason that I said it was good. Why did you just say that? Just say it's crap. But you're going to eat it. Why are you going to eat it? It's, oh, it's like just food. <coughs> does it taste Italian? No. It does not. Italian, like I've had Italian pizzas, like, I, I, I wish I could tell you guys the name of the channel, but I don't want to bash a channel. But they do a ton of, they do everything food. And the way they toted this one was that it was amazing. I'm gonna tell you, it's not amazing. It's like fish. And on top of it all, says so Fields, it looks like Joe's face says it all. I know. It does. But the thing they specifically showed was the chicken parm. And that's why I wanted to try it. And then I got excited because I said that they had zucchini noodles. What's the best part of the meal? The Sprite. Sprite's good. The Sprite is good. Is it good after the Parmesan cheese? Yes, it does, Summer. Best part of the meal is it's over. <laughs> I love that Summer probably knows which one I'm talking about. Or maybe not. There's a number of channels that start with a D. 
but they do a ton of shorts and stuff. And I'm telling you, this is not good. Am I gonna eat it? I'm kind of gonna eat it because I'm hungry. But the chicken parm is tough. It's tough. Joe is right. Uh. Big portion. I've had big portions before and they taste good. This is like. I'll tell you what. Carmine's is way better. Oh my God. Carmine's is a million times better. Carmine's is good food. And chicken wings at Carmine's is like. Chicken parm at Carmine's is delicious. Chicken wings, they're really good. Yes. They're definitely getting paid for reviews. I had a feeling they were too. Yeah, I don't. I'm going to tell you guys. Actually, I, I seriously will tell you guys exactly how I feel about a place. This is the reason why I did not remember it. The chicken was tough. It was dry. That's why they had to sauce it up. Who belched? Joe. Sprite was good. The Sprite was good. And it happens. Ah. But. You know what would have made that meal good? Some tequila in my Sprite. I know, but they're not open yet. Joe was just a little gassy. That's why he was cranky. He had a little gas. Now that I've gotten that out of my system, I don't yet. We got, you got parm. We're pretty much done with marinara now. Can we stop the marinara thing? Definitely. I'm gonna go find out who that YouTuber is. I'm gonna say this place sucks. This is Coffee Joe. There's my phone number. Call me. You suck. No, it's just that we know that you guys don't actually review them properly. You don't actually no, review. The problem is, I have no problem putting my name on something good or bad. I have no problem with that. It's what I feel. But well, I hate people that are fake. This I hate is the thing. Fake people. I've noticed, and I was going. Do they ever show any? And I thought maybe they just don't show the bad ones. Some people don't, well, don't show the bad is. ones. We found some bad ones. Most of them are good though. Sometimes right? they don't show the bad ones and stuff. Well, this one will be classified as not but good. But clearly now I know they review every place they can find. And they probably get the food for free too. Oh, guaranteed. See, that's the and thing. that's the whole thing. I don't want to. I want to be able to judge it without the free food interfering with my judgment. I'm gonna buy the food and eat it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna say I don't like it. If I like it, I like Try it. Try to reward me about the meta craze, crazy, meta crazy. What's that? I would go to Gordon Ramsay's. Go on the them. This chicken tastes like old wood. Yeah, it tastes. It's it's not good. Oh no, see, John, this is not a different thing about taste buds. Trust me. I know when I have good <coughs> chicken parm and when I have bad chicken parm. This tasted like chicken parm. Right now, this literally tasted like I'd chicken like, parm oh God, out of a frozen box. If I went to Carmine's right now. It would be totally different. With the same taste buds I just have. Yeah. And the sauce has no flavor in it. It's just like tomato out of a can. And then she's like, do you want this sauce, that sauce, or this sauce? I'm like, well, I will take the marinara, as you guys are called, marinara. That's okay. Got your stuff. It's over. It's done with. I don't have to deal with it again. It was worth it to have it off my head. And you actually did eat something. It was so. off my head before we started. Oh, boo 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 Joe, you're so smart. Thank you. You love the glasses, Treaton. Hmm? Yeah, I, I actually, my reviews need to be like that. On the measure, on my measures, it would be like, the worst would be like, I can't. It gets an I can't rating. Right? No, my measures, am I coming back or am I not coming back? I am not coming back. Super Frico in Vegas suggests their signal signature chicken parm. It's expensive and it's shitty. Oh my God. Hey, big mama, how are you doing? It must have been bad. Honest review. It's an honest review, guys. I'll tell you if it's good or not. And every so often we hit a bump in the road and it'd be like, mm, not so much. <laughs> I don't know what you were raving about. But you're raving because it was free. 
I think so. And then they made this whole the thing, thing and changes that's their whole thing. They do this whole channel about, oh my God, it's the so good. Look at that sand. Da, 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 da. It and it's like shot different. in a certain way. And I get it. It's social media. But still, I'm like, I know, I got one in my neighborhood. Let me try it. Garbage. I'm going to tell you, Famous Famiglia probably has better chicken farm. How about that? Am I going to get run over? By a reindeer. Hey, Pat Drummond. Lupe. That's being generous, says Penny. Truth, but I always so, no matter what, it's the reviewer's opinion. It is. It's the reviewer's opinion. And it all depends if you trust that reviewer. I'm going to find the video. If that reviewer's opinion is someone's that you value. You've had something and you're like, oh, that was really good. I really liked it or something. Or it was different. Uh, you know, yeah, I guess. I don't know. And again, I should have been like, well, I don't know how much of a foodie they really are. <laughs> you know? What? I can't do anything. I'm like, oh, do you know what you texted him? Hours. That's fine. We're out. We're out and about, dude. Okay, we gotta wait. Hey there, the other me. You hear something? You and Joe taste a lot of food and definitely no good from bad. Well, good. I, I'm glad you think that. Summer says, I'm trusting Ange and Joe's reviews more than that channel. Okay. Well, the funny thing. $800. <laughs> I want to see someone. Somebody show me a real ticket on that. $800. I know. $800 and then second offense, $2,400. Like, what the hell? I want to see that top. I would love to. Where is the noise thing? Those are big. Remember, it's a noise camera. Yeah, but I'm saying. There's your ordinance already in place. They just haven't, you know, enforced it. Eight hundred dollars is a significant ticket. Remember Moma, yeah? This is a great, great. Place. I was telling him that the other day. Got the greatest martinis. Oh my God! Oh yeah, it was the Asian. It was a white peach or Asian pear. Oh, there's like a pear martini. Oh my God, guys! It'll make you weak in the knees. Oh my God, I gotta walk away. We're gonna come to this. We're gonna come to this one day when we got time that we can actually indulge. Momoya is a great sushi little restaurant. Yeah, it will set you back. Oh, probably like 150. Yeah, that's like two drinks each, little sushi. For real, but it's delicious. The popo is going to Dunkin' Donuts. Check out the act of crime scene, I know. For real. Bluestone. Is that coffee? They have good coffee. They have good coffee. Have good coffee Do you need a coffee? No, I just feel digestive and stuff. I know. I can't fix that, okay? Maybe I need to get some zucchini and then just make them myself. That's Maybe parachutes are good pear liqueur and champagne. Is that what that's called? A parachute? Really? I'm telling you, man. Oh, they made some wonderful pear martinis. Oh, I'm telling you, make you weak in the knees. Those martinis. I think we have to go up one. Up one? Yeah. Smelling bread. Oh, it's this pizza place. Sada's Pizza. Yeah, they're an A. They probably have better stuff. 
It smells delicious. Yeah, the place didn't really have any smells. That should have been clue number one. Should have been clue number one. But no, Angela gonna be different. Hey there, Christopher. Coffee after fish, no thanks. I know, it wasn't fish that It was fish. It wasn't fish. It could have been fish, but it That's wasn't. Salmon. It wasn't salmon. It wasn't chicken. It was chicken. It was chicken killed twice. Okay, I watched this video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On this guy who does, these, his videos actually are really good. They're kind of like a documentary kind of style format. Um, he does like things about eating around the world, but also about different stuff around the world. And he was going to the Philippines. Okay. It was the Philippines. And it was about this local dish that they have that is a very scary dish, guys. No, it's way scarier than kimchi. Way. No, no. You will freak out, run away. I don't know if anybody in here knows what I'm talking about. But I think it was the Philippines. Pretty sure it was Philippines. And he was talking about this dish that is a local thing. Because the Philippines, that's the one where Dali B is from, right? Yes. Okay, so it is the Philippines. Okay, and there's a dish that is basically associated with Jollibee. And I think it's called Pak Pak. Pak Pak. Okay. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> wait. So this is what they do. There are people. No. No. You Just wait. There are people that go around. They go through the garbage and pick out the food from the garbage. Really? Specifically like from like Jolly Bee. Like the chicken parts. Oh God. <laughs> like that. And then they reconnoiter this whole thing oh God. into another fried dish. Oh jeez. I swear to God. Hi Annette. It's called Pak Pak. So Pak Pak or something like that. Like P A G P A G. Look it up. Filipino Jolly Bee Pak Pak or something like that. And I guess they have different kinds of things and they supposedly pick through it and they literally show people going through it. It was like a thing. Like a thing. And then they clean it and they boil it and then they deep fry the frick oh out of it. God. So that then they're literally eating like a chicken bone with like remnants of meat on it. I was like, stop it. Hey, other me, how are you? Oh, look at this. The West 979th Block Association having coffee and cookies. A little chit chat time. Too crazy. I don't know. I just honestly watched it yesterday, I think. And I was sitting there watching this stunned. Stunned, Joe. I thought, I thought, well, do they just go and get leftover? Like, maybe it's chicken that wasn't eaten? No. No. I was stunned. Yes, Marie, it's just gross. And then the people that were trying to were like, we're so scared about this. Some of them were from that area. You know, that town. And I'm like, yo, no way. Uh-uh. No, you couldn't. No, <laughs> it's just a hard no. Was this better than that? Probably. <laughs> Marginally. Marginally. But yo, I was tripping. Look at, we're coming up on the... The American Natural History Museum. Wait, is it called the Museum of... What is it called again? Yeah, that's what it's called. The Austin Powers, I want to live there. 
Same here, DI. I'm enjoying his, his videos of Vietnam. Vietnam. Yes. The other me says, hey, you're road tripping. Awesome. Guys, check out La, the other me, Las Vegas channel, out there in the West. What is going on over here? There's so many people out in the streets with their chairs. The Chess Academy. Oh, we could learn chess, Joe. Oh, they got like trophies and stuff in there. Oh, stop, Ange. I know, I know. It's crazy. Oh. Do these stores really make a lot of money? Look at that. Oh, we've lost Joe. Joe is now in here. He looking for crystals. He's gonna get an obelisk so he can put it in the in the apartment. For real. The American Museum of Natural History, yes. Okay, I'm telling you guys, we are hearing the weirdest conversations on the street. This guy's talking about a search warrant. <coughs> you were gonna say mess with treating this whole stream? That's funny. Is the kid upset? Is he happy? What's Joe doing? Where is he? Where are you, Joe? You love crystals? They have beautiful stuff in here. I'm not sure about the butterfly thing though. What's going on with that? A lot of butterfly stuff. Listen, I want the geo to look like a geo, not like a butterfly. Astro West. Okay. Yeah, very, it's very, very nice. Is it bougie? Oh yeah, high end. High end bougie? Yeah, really Feel the card. Okay. Okay, that, this bracelet, not pretty. But that weird amoeba crystal. I think a lot of people have their own geode crusher. So they put it behind glass, it makes it special. Oh. Joe's looking for carabiners? I know. Look at Joe's and Stun too. Waffle and Dings has a storefront now. They got so much money, they got a storefront. So this is new, right, Joe? I told you. I thought so. Okay, apparently every local child is here. <laughs> Rocks. Waiting for Joe. Oh, there's too many strollers. I'd be 500 bills. Joe, there's too many strollers. I can't. There's too many strollers. I couldn't. There's just too many strollers for me. I'd be popping waffles and things. What do you have? Waffles and things. Waffles. I'm just eating all the damn waffles. The whole store. Joe, you're looking very waffly to me today. I feel kind of like a waffle. I feel like a big waffle. So big. You're like, you look like a big waffle. I'd be so big. I'd just sit there in my wheelchair. <laughs> oh my God. It's it's legit. Good. It smells so good, guys. I, I know. It does. It smells it amazing. Smells amazing. Waffles and things is good, but. Everything in moderation for sure. Oh my God. That's for you. There's no moderation. You're like, if I'm going to have, have no one waffle. I have no moderator. If I have one waffle, I'm having 50. I have no moderator. That's what you'd say. Don't moderate me. Oh my god, what a face you gave me. Here, let me grab my um charger out of the backpack so I, you don't have to carry it while I possibly need it. Hang on a moment, folks. I want to grab it. No, it's not there. How about you hold this? Oh good, we look, look at the clouds. No, you can be nice and let them see everything else. Don't be a weirdo. Be a weirdo. Waffle, laugh out loud. <laughs> Upper West Side equals Stroller City, somebody said. I, certain areas of it are very stroller specific. Stroller intensive. I know. I mean, the other areas are more dog intensive, which is fine. I live in excess. I do. I either have nothing or everything. 
That's what that Isabella said. Okay, hang on. Plug this in. Okay. There we go. Good afternoon, Ellis Fondro. Ellis Fondro. Tuesday podcast restraining orders. My God. People be sassy today out here with their faces. Sunday fun day. I know. I'm like, what's your problem? Keep walking. Chip City. See, like, I feel like these people, these things, why do I feel like it? Like, there's nothing. Here I crumb. They're filled cookies. Let's see. That'll be interesting, Maria. Unfortunately, this Tuesday I won't be able to watch live, but I'll watch the replay. Yeah. What is the weather going to be like in New York City on Monday? I don't know at the moment, but you know what's really great is the Weather Channel. You see those cookies? They're filled. Delicious. What did I have for breakfast? I had some sausage and cheese. Joe had soup. Two bowls. Two bowls. Guys, even though they might have really fun tunes coming out of this truck, don't get your coffee here. It's terrible. It's terrible. Steps Dance Studio. Oh, a dance team's here. They're traveling around. Oh, they turned their music way down. I wonder if they got a noise order ordinance. Yeah, I think so. Do you think it's like too fake sweet? Probably. All right. Oh, look, we made it to the Grand Bazaar. It's the flea market on the Upper West Side. It is kind of just like a market, not necessarily flea, so to speak. But they have a lot of vendors in here. Yes. So let me make sure. Come here. Oh, look. There it is. Now completely. Now it's completely zipped up. Monday's going to be 87. Oh, 77. That's nice. Let's go see. Oh, somebody's selling samosas. See, this one has those candy fruits where they dip it in hard candy. So they put a little extra sugar. One for 10, two for 18, a bouquet of five for 40, 38. Close enough. Yeah, they do the rolls. You want, I've never heard of Chip City, have you? I feel like it's just like one of those new places. You're watching your pet flea on the couch, that's funny. Tomorrow, Joe will complain that he has fleas, nah. Now we don't need pickles as we've got, these are stuffed cook, are these the same thing from Chip City? Let's look at these. Oh, it's called Sammy's Bakery. Samosas are delicious. Are you kidding? And gluten-free cookies. Ooh, those look delicious. Now, we already have a ton of pickles at home. Let's just see what's new here. You know what? That Mao Bao is everywhere. I swear to God, I've gone to like, I can't tell you how many different street fairs, every single street fair has one of these now. So I'm almost like, they're in New York, Miami, and LA. Okay, so now it's like a thing. Really bad portraits. Okay. That dude's here still. He must make a lot of money. What's this car? A car? Hi, Lane. It's gonna be 77 on Monday in New York City. What is this about? What? I have never heard of this car, have you? Yeah. You have? He has, I haven't. 
them all over the road. Yeah. And we're doing drives too, so we got that want to drive we got them outside. Oh, interesting. We are Rivian. So it's, it's an electric car, right? There's no motor. Weird. Oh, interesting. Oh, look, Joe. It's got wings. It's got wings. It's got a little seat for you. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. Rivian. I've never heard of it. You guys need to We have things on there, but there's a full-size uh, space to spare in there. Air compressor built in up to 150 PSI, a 120 back there. Um, the air compressor reaches all four tires with the whole. You guys need to know anything about Rivian? <laughs> you guys are, that's a mafia hitman car. <laughs> you guys must have seen the gear tunnel in the middle. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a body place, right? Oh my God. Whatever you can put in that car. I have never heard of that car, guys. So, Joe, tell me about it. They're rarer than a Tesla. Okay. A lot of little food here. Peanuts. There's peanuts. You want some dorsa? Spiced up nuts? Oh, that's a cute puppy in a sack. You can't fit in between there? That's the trunk? Yeah, that's the bed. What? In there? That's it. That's it. No, that's the it. We're sticking you outside. I'm done. One more comment. We're going to stop and put you in the wing seat. I know. It's an electric pickup truck. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, does it, guys? An electric pickup? Like, where's your power? But still, like, the whole point is that you need power, right? Until you don't. Huh? Well, that's the I guess you could say everything is limited power. There's a lot of people here today, guys. The car is too quiet for you. Hey, Romachek, how are you doing? Car has nice colors. Okay. Romachek, you got a Rivian? I've never heard of that kind of car. Joe's not looking at the gems today. Oh, you are. Joe's still unsatisfied. I can tell. We're going to have to find something satisfactory for him. Looks like I gotta find him. Oh, some I can't walk by the perfume. That's like too much cologne. They have these things that are like perfume things. I've seen her at other things. She's trying to sell stuff for Flacco. For Flacco? She's selling things that are like owed to Flacco. Yeah. The thing is, is there's a lot of clothes here. I know, but I already have my thing of sunglasses. <laughs> oh my God, this is one thing I think is fabulous. Do you guys want to see it? This is the best, right here. This. Uh, it's like a McDonald's costume. Like, that's fabulous. 1976 uniform. Come on. I freaking love it. Right? That's like a size, like somebody who never ate a McDonald's. That's what that size is. Where did Choco? One for the, I know, R.I.P. Flucky Faco. Oh no, she doesn't come to this place. What are you looking at? Stuff? I'm done. They do, they make a ton of money. They do. Yeah. Like old vintage shirts are fabulous. Joseph, here you go. There you go. This yellow one right here. This reminds me of Fruit Strike gum. Doesn't it? These are all guys. They must have got, like, where did they get those from? 
Like, that's hilarious. I almost want it. There's a blue one. That one's blue. Those are so good. That is the best find ever. Did you see them all? The shirt was 45. It was vintage. They were clean to perfection. Well, I don't know. That was 1975, Joe. Could you imagine? That shirt's been through a lot. Either that or that was like the samples that they showed people. Aren't they cool? It reminds me of Fruit Stripe gum though, swear to God. Which is totally a 70s kind of gum. Okay, let's wander on out here. Oh, Joe's on a decline. We gotta get him coffee, guys. We gotta get Joe coffee. Let's go get Joe coffee. Because he's about ready to crash. We don't want him crashing. You wore the red one, TL? That's so funny. They cleaned out someone's apartment? Well, apparently, they had every damn color. Joe's really being pokey. Where can I take you, Joe? Tell me where to go. Come on. Let me know. Do we want to go up and around and out of this? Because you seem like you're totally not into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like when you're young, you're all huh. okay. Maybe they're moving, baby. Oh my God, Joe. Okay, tell me where you want to go. I don't know, actually. I know, I'm waiting for Joe. Joe needs to make a decision. The hat. The hat is everything. Waiting for Joe to make a decision. Joe's pondering. The material that causes chafing, it would. Joe says this way. He wants out. Out, baby. He wants out of this area. I could tell. He's like, I'm not into it. That's cool. That's the great thing about walking. You don't have to be into it. You can walk away. You vote for drinks, says Marie. Well, Trenton, of course you are. Bingo. Bingo. Bingo was his name. Oh. I like the McDonald's outfits. Those were fun. Those were crazy cool. Right? I think that lunch is coming up on me. Oh, no. Really? No, for real. Oh, my God. Seriously? Are you kidding me? It wasn't that bad, Joe. It's not that That's a beautiful puppy. It wasn't that bad, Joe. And drinks, it's after 12. How far is Julius? Julius is super far. Julius is about... Oh my God, it's more than that. It's probably like 70 blocks away. We're just gonna say 70 blocks. Okay. That's how far away it is. I know a motorbike, yeah. For real. All those people, they got money to pay for parking spots. They pay for that spot, right? We don't pay for a spot. We have to walk to our car. That's what we do. And that's okay. It's like New York. I felt like, I don't know. I just, I wasn't, I thought I'd be more into the market. I just didn't feel the market. What's going on in there? That's the market inside. Oh, it's the market inside the school. You never get a signal in there. I can never get a signal in there. I know Joe does need coffee. Hey Frank, I just love these old buildings. I know all these brownstones. Yeah. They are cool. They are very- The clouds are coming in. They're kind of rolling in a little. 
but it's supposed to be like 70. Roma Chuck with a $5 super chat saying, you guys aren't far from dive 75. That is true. Roma Chuck knows his area. That is true. Roma Chuck knows his area, I'll give him that. He does. Thank you, Roma Chuck, for that. $5 super Check. chat. Thank you. He knows exactly where we are. I know he does. We're on 76, Roma Chuck. One street away. I've been going down to Chinatown lately. Chinatown is so much better. I guarantee you he's talking about Chinatown versus Flushing. I have a feeling. I know Flushing is supposed to have some of the fabulous stuff, but it's a lot of stuff in between. There's a lot of stuff in between there and it's not like place after place after place. Flushing's is not necessarily walkable. You gotta know where you're going. And it's a little, chaotic one day i'm gonna conquer it all right how about that by yourself by myself you're funny by yourself all right we gotta stop next time i go to flushing you're gonna guarantee pay all my parking tickets yes it's all the way down in the village it's all the way down in the west village that's where Julius is. Now the place up here, speaking of a dive bar at 75, only has liquor. In fact, they don't even have our, what do you call it, Sunny D's at that one. Because they're not associated with all the uh, West Side dives, right? The guy who owns the ones on the Upper West Side he has the sunny days at his. Who's backing up? Are they backing up to China? What the hell? Oh, he just got his backup lights on with his brake. This doesn't make no sense. Good vibes, yes. Hey, Kale, how are you? I hope everything's going well. Yeah, they have, haven't they? full on sun. I know. Now it's a little like, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to rain. I don't think so. I kind of do look like rain clouds. Is it raining over in PA? Like I said, we were just taking a little walk in the neighborhood, guys. I almost ruined my Guinness beer reduction on the stove. No, C Gem. Don't ruin that. Yeah, that's super annoying. Flushing is not that interesting. It's a little bit boring trying to town a little but better because they have more stuff. They do have it. They're spread out really far. Chinatown is very, like, there's a lot of little places in Chinatown. And there's a lot of little places that you wouldn't know about in certain areas. Like, I love K-Town. I love the Chinatown area. I do like Brooklyn. I have Greenpoint. Because that's the bullish area. I came across the, the receipt for a story of seafood. That was funny. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. You make it sound like it was horrific. Like you're scarred for life. You're not scarred for life. Hey, we're gonna walk to 72nd? Okay, I guess we're walking to 72nd. Joe's getting tired. Oh, it's rain tonight. Oh my God. I can tell Joe's getting a little tired now. I'm gonna have to take him home now because he's petering out. Look at him. He's like, oh, oh, it's okay. Well, we did have a good walk, right? Good neighborhood walk and stuff. Yeah, it was a good walk. We, we, did, we, did, we did try out one place that I've been wanting to try out for a long time. Because I couldn't remember. Now I will not ever forget it again. 
crossed off the list, burned. We ate up all the everything stuff called you called whatever. It was it's zucchini. Yeah, you call it zucchini. They're squash noodles. I call it slimy green. Joseph, they're just zucchini noodles. They're zoodles. Whatever. The funny thing is they charge you three dollars more for those. But you're supposed to get a salad anyway. So why couldn't you just I didn't make no sense. This Starbucks is not open yet, by the way. I think they're renovating it. Anyway. Did that. He's still he's still poking. Oh my god, you told me I can't. Joe. You do you want me to go get you coffee? Do you need one? All right, we're gonna get you a coffee. That's gonna be the end of the stream. We'll get Joe a coffee. That's how we'll end it. We'll get Joe his coffee and he'll be happy. Happy, pappy, little boy. Oh my, keep walking. Get in front of me. The faces, I can't. The faces today, legit. Oh my God. Do you need anything from Traders? Anything from Traders, Joe? Um, <laughs> Get it? Do you need anything from Traders, Joe? <laughs> Trader Joe's? I thought that was funny. The Beacon Theater. So many people play here. Seinfeld played here a lot. I think he has residency or some crazy thing. All right, you wanna go and get a mini? How about that? No? Okay. Go in, oh. go in. No, you need a coffee, because you don't need to be sleepy. You need to be perky. I need to get you a coffee. I know what I need to do. Come along. Come along, little man. Let's go, he's dragging his feet, guys. He is for real dragging his feet. A Little bit faster, baby, across the street. He's sour-faced, I know. <laughs> Happy Pappy, I can't. He's not Mr. Happy Pappy right now. Oh my God, Joe! I swear the to God. Longest walk for your coffee I've ever gone to. Where are we going, Joseph? You had you had two cups of coffee. You had two you pots. You're gonna give me a coffee. So where are we going? Going to the corner over here by Blue Bottle. I swear to God. Good I want to squeeze that little Good head of yours. Answer. Good answer. Summer is because he's having a he's having a caffeine crash at the moment. He had two pots of coffee this morning, and the problem is he has to keep feeding the beast, <laughs> or it's terrible. And he's at the terrible right and now. Walking me around, and I'm walking I'm him around. Desert. I got in the coffee, coffee desert. I can't. Has, got in yet. <laughs> has to go in. I don't have to go in anything. How are we gonna get coffee? Joseph, you can pay for it too. What the hell is the problem with you? You don't have any ID or anything on you? I have nothing. You're a liar. You get nothing. You have nothing. I can't nothing. with you right now. Oh, they're hugging. That's I'm sweet. Okay. Oh my God. He is extremely extra today. Oh my God. Even Treat 99 wants to squeeze Almost your head. Almost there. I can't. Almost there. When you guys sit there and say that I complain, <laughs> almost there. I need you guys to all take note. Isn't Blue Bottle around here? Isn't it? I hope so. Okay. That's it right there. We don't want to get run over by that dude. Yeah, that's what happens. He gets so overstimulated with the coffee that now he has, he's like crashing and burning. Look at it. Yeah, it's almost time for his afternoon nippy nap. But we can't give him any nips because the problem is that will compound the problem. All right, go in, go get yourself a coffee. Oh, they took away their little seating area. Joe's gonna go get his coffee. I'm not getting you. I'm not getting you more. Can you stop? Can you be like a big 
Wait for Chocho. And then we'll go sit in the park. I usually don't go in because sometimes they have really loud music. I know, I have to get him a coffee. Getting ready. Blue Bottle actually does have really good coffee. Did you get this massive thing here for yourself? Just put a straw in it? Oh God, I can't even keep its eyes open. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like he needs a nipple. Oh my God. I can't. Did you just shut the door on me? I did. Drink that up. I need a couple of gulps. It's like a baby on a teat. <laughs> I don't want any. No, I do not need any coffee. I'm fine. We all know who the person is that needs the coffee at the moment. Come on. We're going to go sit down so you can drink your coffee in some peace. It is not gone. Yeah, he'd be asleep all day if he did an adult beverage. I kind of laugh because people always go, Ange, don't be so mean. If he wants to have a drink, I go, you don't understand. He can't handle the drink. He would be passed out before we even got home. Okay. Okay. Look at there's spots in here, Joe. Well, that's a spot. How about we take it? We're gonna sit here in Verde Square. Wait. Oh my God, you can't move these barely. This is why they're still here. They weigh like 400 pounds. They literally do weigh 400 pounds, the chairs, for real. All right, let's see Joe. He'll waken up now, just a little bit. Where'd my son go? Oh my God, Joe. You're too funny. I don't know where your son went. I mean, there's a sun above you. It's okay. All right, now he's better. He's looking, he's, are you in a better mood? Look at, now he's happy. There we go. We've all fixed him, guys. We, we fixed the broken Joe. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with us this morning on Sunday Fun Day. Sunday Fun Day! <laughs> he's so dumb. I appreciate you guys all being here. No one can run away. No, you cannot. Like I almost. I recommend marinara for stingy, stingy little gross noodles. And I do some, not recommend and some marinara. Sam, red salmon. It was not salmon. Red salmon with tomato sauce. It was just like. It was some. It was like honestly tomato sauce noodles. out of a can. Like there was no, nothing was done to it. I swear to God. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Sunday. Sunday fun day. It's not too bad here. Now it's got overclass. a lot of coffee. Joe needs extra coffee. So I'll keep him fueled up, guys. We'll push through this thing for him and stuff. You guys enjoy the day. Get outside if it's nice. If it's not nice, then, you know, just look out the Lay window. Lay on the couch, and I'll talk to you later in Discord. Yeah. Lay on the couch. Guys, also, if you guys are new to the Discord, uh, to the Yo Club, many people were gifted memberships yesterday. Do me a favor. Make sure you guys go to the channel what is it called community page and you'll see the links for the discord group in there and also the facebook page so anyway thanks have a good day and we'll talk to you later bye